hey guys welcome back to another video so I am back at home I landed yesterday from Toronto and yeah right back to work here lots to do at home this morning I had a call with a brand that I'm gonna be working with at the US Open which I'm really excited about Olivia just pulled in and then I ran to an antique center and got a bunch of really cool stuff for the photo shoot today I got exactly what I needed and more really cool stuff so I'm really really excited about that did my hair and my makeup and we're about to go run to the studio and shoot shooting today the tennis collection the US Open pop-up tennis collection and then our new sweatsuit which I'm going to show you guys in the video I'm really excited I'm trying to decide when I should upload this because I did want to keep some elements of surprise for the pop-up but we're not shooting the denim today so that will be a little bit of a surprise yeah I'm really excited for the shoot today and I'm just really excited for the antique stuff that I found and got um just did my hair look very natural today and then I have this up so it keeps its shape a little bit um I'm just packing up some like styling pieces for the shoot like vintage tees and glasses and some jewelry so yeah I literally uploaded a vlog last night the Toronto vlog and normally I like to like wait a few days to start fil filming another vlog so I have like a little bit of a break but I like couldn't not vlog the shoot so I think I'm gonna do like a home style vlog this week um some days at home and then i'm going to a wedding this weekend bridget's wedding which is going to be crazy and cool and exciting it's in new york city and i'm wearing a custom dress by her brand and i'm just like so excited about it so probably like home vlog and then wedding vlog um need to pack up the car and head to the shoot
I just organized my closet, did like a deep clean. It's still ongoing, but I have a call right now with Tacovas, which is my favorite boot brand. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go run and do that. And then I'm going to finish organizing and then I'm going to run to Whole Foods and then maybe go to the barn. Hey guys, sorry. We thought that you couldn't hear us. Can you hear us now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we can see you now too. Um, Paige, I'm a huge, huge fan. I wore my Dairy Boy hat all when I was in Colorado last weekend. Oh, I love I, that. I felt stopped like a lot. Like people would be like, oh my God, Dairy Boy. Oh my God, love that. I like, love that. You... I do get DMs saying it's a good like conversation starter, yes. which I really yes. love. And Actually, I... I found that too. I've been wearing it and like, I always at least get one comment. They're like, oh, I oh, love that. God. Dairy Boy, I was like, I love that. Uh, hilarious no it's really special really like a trend in there like t show me how you use dairy boy obviously i want my brand it's going to be much more than hats but it's really i've developed a community through the hats which i never thought that i could do that it really has developed a little club a dairy boy club which is really special and cool as a brand yeah. owner you have a community you have like a lifestyle that you admit i mean i will say Korea and I have discussed at length. Did you single-handedly start Coastal Cowgirl? We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> never know. <laughs> it's, it's so nice to meet you. I'm such you're at the top of all of our mood boards. We reference you in like oh, 101 meetings, mm -hmm. and it's really because you're such an organic and authentic partner. Um, and we don't do a lot of paid influencer partnerships. Their community seems to relate to it. And candidly, we want to support you. We want to help grow your business, and you know what can we offer you to introduce our community to kind of your growing brand and it sounds like you're really evolving a lot and introducing all these super exciting new product categories well first thank you for saying all that it's so flattering and and really sweet just to be recognized by a brand that i love so much is so flattering and you guys all just get the vision i feel like you can get me which is so nice in my industry to feel that way and make us all i think feel really good that our brand is being received that way by another brand. I do feel like this would be a really cool partnership. You my sweet boy, we do it. Okay, so this is everything I got. I'm gonna quickly go through it for you guys. Got some chicken. I really like the chicken at Whole Foods because it's in these individual little packets so I don't like waste as much. There's usually two per thing, which is perfect. Got some ground beef, got some cheese. I got a bunch of cheese, like mozzarella for my, this for my breakfast burritos, cabot, and then I got, oh, cheese sticks. Got these for a snack, my favorite. They actually normally send me stuff, but I'm all out. Got some lettuce, onion, pepper. I got some noodles for dinner tonight. I don't think I'm gonna cook tonight, I'm really tired. And I have a very early morning tomorrow. And then I got some whole milk, my favorite iced coffee, my favorite salsa, late July. Got some little pickles, cucumbers. Got some stuff to pickle. Um, gonna pickle green beans and cauliflower. Um, I usually like to do that at the beginning of the week. And then I got this garlic for the pickling. It's like much easier. It's really lazy, but it's easier. And then I got 
this Italian blend. Got a Caesar salad kit. I'm gonna make Caesar salad uh, wraps this week. And I got some spinach for breakfast. And then I got these blue corn tortilla chips and bacon for breakfast burritos. And yeah, that's it. I've literally had the longest day ever. But I did kind of know that my August, like especially these weeks, were gonna be really crazy. It's like 12 right now, and I'm just like cleaning up my house. I have a shoot here tomorrow for a little collaboration that I'm doing. Um, so it's literally at eight, so I have to be up very, very early. And we just have a busy day tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like come on here and say goodnight. <laughs> morning vlog so I've been up since 6 30 and I just got ready the girls are here from the brand finished the shoot it went well now we're just watching Tommy's match chicken Caesar salad wrap for lunch today. Also guys, I got my first tomato from my garden. She's so cute. Like still needs to get a little bit ripe, but you can pick them and then like leave them out and then they start getting ripe. But I'm going to make the salad and I'm gonna do chicken on the skillet today. Okay, I have my chicken here. It's a little bit like on a thicker side so i'm just gonna like dry it down a little bit and then i'm gonna try to tenderize it a little bit so it cooks more evenly i'm gonna have to use this bag because i don't have any um parchment paper i usually would lay parchment paper and just like do it i also don't have the tool for it anymore i used to but i don't so i'm just gonna use a cup I highly suggest like actually using the proper <laughs> tool though. I'm somehow out of garlic powder, but this has like garlic powder in it. This is one of my favorite seasonings. It literally has everything in it. And then Lowry seasoning salt, which is a must. And then some oregano and then salt and pepper. Pepper, seasoning, salt, not too much of that because you don't want it to be too salty. And then the, like, everything seasoning. And then flip. Remember to wash your hands when you flip because you don't want to get chicken on your seasonings. Just put my skillet on, just gonna get some olive oil in the pan and you wanna make sure that this gets really hot. Like you want your oil to be very, very hot. That is the trick to cooking any meat well. Like any meat. I literally feel like I say this every time I cook meat, but getting your oil, or getting your pan or grill very hot will make the outside crispy. So that's important with chicken because chicken can be hard to cook for some people. I'm just gonna let the chicken sit for a second. It smells so good. I'm gonna make the Caesar now. I wouldn't normally get a kit for a salad. Like that's kind of anti my vibe. 
but for lunch it's really convenient and for a Caesar like I don't make my own Caesars ever really so the kit works add a little bit of butterhead lettuce to it I'm just gonna toss it and I think I'm gonna add some pepper. Good morning. I've been up for a bit. Had a few quick calls with my team. Have two more calls today. Um, but right now I'm just like in the office. I just unboxed some stuff. One of them being from Dior and Dior Beauty. So they sent me like a restock of all of my favorite things. I'm really excited about this color in particular. 12. This is one of my favorites, it's just like a clear one, but I'm gonna try this one. Mm. I like that one, cute. And then I wanted to try this Hydrate, Hydra Life by them. I've heard really good things. And then a restock of my Rosy Glow favorite blush and then this is new i've never tried this one the universal highlighter oh cute and then this is more like neutral another blush this is the one i had the old one i had i've used I've used that in videos before gotten a bunch of really cute pr packages um Oh, also, my earrings are from Honey by Kate, which is a jewelry brand. It's a very small woman-owned jewelry brand. Oftentimes, I get so much jewelry that I, like, forget who sends it, but I just wanted to quickly shout her out. Um, I've been wearing them all morning, but I'm actually going to take them off because I'm going to go lay on the couch and watch Tommy's match. He is playing Carlos Alcarez again, um, number one player in the world. So that'll be fun. And I have a call at three. 
So I have 30 minutes to watch his match. I actually have a call with Yonix, which is Tommy's tennis racket company that he uses. We're gonna be discussing US Open stuff, possibly collaborating. I've had so many exciting, fun meetings around the US Open and just like a lot of fun stuff happening at the US Open and a lot of partnerships around the US Open, which is really fun. I also received my dress in the mail from the bar for the wedding that I'm going to tomorrow. I can show you guys that. Um, I'm undecided on if I'm going to vlog the wedding. This gorgeous, like, can't really see it, but it's this, like gorgeous pink long dress. Um, I'm undecided right now if I'm gonna be vlogging the wedding because I wanted this to be like a home vlog. I mean, it has been a home vlog. I've been vlogging all week, um, but I don't know if I should vlog the wedding. Tommy's so cute. He sent me these flowers. My mom ordered us sandwiches from this deli and it's a Thanksgiving sandwich. It looks good. Is it good? To participate in and collaborate with is for that. This is insane. I'm watching Tommy's match. He had a tiebreaker in the first set, which means it was like incredibly close a few points. He lost the tiebreak. Bummer, I fucking hate tie breaks. And now they're in another tie break in the second set. And Tommy's up 5-0. <gasps> so he's about to win the second set to go into a third set. <laughs> I have so much shit to do. Like I've been sitting here watching tennis since my last meeting. <laughs> oh! Carlos won the first set. Tommy won the second set. One more set to decide the match. Regardless of the outcome of this match, pretty fucking great match so far, really high level tennis. Okay guys, Tommy's match had a rain delay, so I've just been like doing some organization stuff. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some things that I got in gifting. Um, it's brand Kukai Australia, DM me, and they wanted to send me some stuff. Got these black trousers. Not sure what this brand is known for, but it kind of looks like a lot of like work wear sort of stuff and it's really cute. This is really cute. These tops are really in style right now. Is it a dress? Oh yeah, this is a dress. That's really cute for a tennis match. Excited. So I've known Bridget for a while and she moved to Texas, so I don't see her as much anymore. I'm actually heading into the city a little bit earlier right now. The store is sporty and rich, invited me in for a facial and a massage. So I thought while I was in the city, I would do that since I don't come in very often anymore. And I'm gonna be getting my hair and makeup done at my friend Remy's apartment, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to see her. I'm honestly getting to see a ton of people tonight that I don't see very often. So that's gonna be so nice. We were asked to not film Bridget and Mike, like parts of the wedding, so they can be the ones to um, like be the first to share, which I love. I'm glad they're doing that. So I'm not gonna be able to film like a ton for this vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna do some errands in the city before Okay 
guys, I'm about to head to Remy's now to do hair and makeup for the wedding.